Hello and welcome to Badger Camp. In this week's video, I'm going to be building the Italiaria 172nd scale F100 Super Sabre. Now, I've been wanting to uh, build this aircraft for some time as I'm working towards completing a Vietnam collection. Though this plane had a rocky start, killing off one of the main US test pilots, this aircraft flew more sorties during the action in Vietnam than any other American aircraft. And though it's not confirmed, it is likely that this aircraft was responsible for getting the first air-to-air -air kill of the conflict. Anyway, let's have a look at the kit. Sadly, it's a side opening box on this. It's got some nice box art though, and a full colour paint guide on the back of it. Inside you get two sprues. Looking at the detail on these, it's not as crisp though as I'd like. It does however come with a very nice decal sheet, with tons of bright options for schemes. It also has a full colour instruction manual, but looking at the paint scheme section, they're all bare aluminium options, which I'm not a fan of if I'm honest with you. Now a quick look at the spurs when it's out of the box. It looks like there's a lot of flash on these, so uh, this kit's going to need a fair bit of cleanup. Anyway, on to the build. As per usual, first up it's time to build the cockpit. The constructions here are simple and straightforward. I had no problems with fit here either, but the details are a bit lacking. With the cockpit built, then it's time to uh, paint the area up so while it's still easy to get at. I used Vallejo uh, Light Gore Grey for the main first coat. Then picked out some details with Army Painter Pure Red, Tamiya Olive Drab and some Army Painter Gunmetal for the uh, pedals. Paint down now, it's time to add the uh, decals. A nice touch I thought with this kit was having the seatbelts uh, as decals to uh, add to the cockpit. With those in, along with the side and instrument panels, the cockpit starting to look a bit more detailed, but still very impressionist. Now with that part of the build complete, it's time to uh, add the cockpit and instrument panels to the main halves of the fuselage. These bits went together okay, but didn't seem to fit quite right. It was almost like the model was slightly offset. Still though, with a bit of squeezing and faffing, you can get a decent fit after a little sanding. It's at this stage that you will need to add some nose weight to the uh, model to stop it being a tail sitter. I thought Italiaria really did a good job with this step though, as they say in the instructions the exact amount of weight to add. For this model it was 20 grams of nose weight. I opted to use some green stuff for weight, as my lead stock's running a little bit low after the last two builds. With that done though, the build from here on out progresses pretty fast, adding the horizontal stabilizers and the main wings in the next step. Other than some light flash cleanup, all of these bits go on well and have a good tight fit to them. After that, it's time to add the undercarriage. Now I had no real issues here, the whole thing went together fairly simply. Only trouble I had was uh, adding the landing gear doors as the instructions were a little bit vague and the parts didn't have any anchor points. 
A uh, quick Google search though helped sort that out and then they went on easy. With that done though now, it's just a case of adding the external fuel tanks and armament. And that's the uh, construction done, a nice quick build kit. And this is the finished kit. I'm not going to uh, lie, it's not my greatest uh, paint job. I decided against filming the painting or uh, decaling of this kit as there really wasn't anything to show and I didn't know what I was doing so I didn't want to give anyone else any ideas if you were following along and just destroy your model. This is my first ever bare aluminium paint scheme. I simply sprayed it with some silver spray paint, picked out the darker tail section and then added the decals before giving it a quick light dirt wash to uh, pick out a few of the panel lines. This is where the kit kind of let itself down as even though I'd used a really light coat of spray paint the uh, panel lines really didn't you know show up. They're actually a lot better on the bottom of the uh, kit than on the top which is sad I'd rather it have been the other way around. In conclusion though the Italiaria F100 Super Sabre is an okay model. I paid about 15 quid for this model and um, yeah, you, you get a nice kit for the price. All in all, it goes together well. We have a little bit of work. The uh, panel lines it could be sharper though. I think this is quite an old mould now though. Um, it also does have a fair bit of flash that needs cleaning up, but you know, it's horses for courses, fairly easy to do. Overall, the instructions provided with the kit are actually really good. I did like the fact it told you how much nose weight to put in the model. That's a top-notch feature, other kits could uh, do with uh, following and it comes with a nice decal sheet with some nice bright decal schemes personally though i think that the all of them being bare metal kind of lets it down i just wish italia area would have put in a camo scheme with this as i really don't enjoy painting bare metal um and did it on this one because i felt i needed to give it a go at least once anyway that's my look at the italia area 172nd super saber hope you've enjoyed the video and if you're thinking of buying this kit it gave you some food for thought before you go out and get it until next time though look after yourselves and have a good one. goodbye